Well, I think things will have to get worse to get better. Uh, it's a usual sort of uh, way politics in Europe has played out. Uh, I call it neutrical learning. Uh, people make mistakes, but the problem is that not that people make mistakes, but people make the same mistakes all over again. And Europe has been plagued by political uncertainties for the last 10 years. Instead of focusing on a better operation of the future of the Eurozone, we're starting to see repercussions on the current operations of the future of, of the Eurozone, which is not helpful. And I'm pretty sure we have uh, institutions in place like the Commission and others who are the guardians of the European Constitution and of the Maastricht Treaty, and they will basically start enforcing more and more this common view. So yes, whilst the Italian budget is on a divergent path, there will be mechanisms to renegotiate and renegotiate and bring that budget more in line with European perspectives. And I think that will have happen over a period of time. Do you think Brexit has altered the European project somehow? It has definitely shown that uh, not everyone is uh, in the same game. Uh, for example, Europe has taken a lot of measures around hardening the governance for the Eurozone. Single supervisory mechanism, a, a deposit insurance scheme, there is a European stability mechanism and there are talks of many other such mechanisms ahead. For the larger EU, which is not at this stage intending to join the Eurozone, that journey has been a journey that went way too fast. Uh, some of them want more, more geometry, more variable geometry as we used to call it, around a hardening European core. So to the degree that you tighten the core of the Eurozone and its governance, some members who don't want to be a member of that wanted more flexibility around the edges of that. And that's the tension you see map out in the EU. You see it with the Eastern European countries who are not taking uh, you know, all of the European provisions into their national uh, into their national policies. One very quick question for you. As a bank and chairman of a bank like UBS, given the Brexit developments of the last 24 hours, mm. do you feel that the next couple of weeks are going to be crucial for your contingency planning in case a deal doesn't get passed? Um, the next few weeks will be very important for the UK and its financial markets. We at UBS have always taken a worst case scenario and mm. many of the regulators forced the large banks to plan on the basis of a hard Brexit uh, debate. So we're prepared for the worst and we hope for the best. Okay. But at the moment, that's, a ver that's hope. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.